this week we've had all kinds of activities for Red Ribbon Week, and today's assembly is going to continue that. So let's give a round of applause to Fabian Ramirez. Life is about positioning yourself for that one moment of opportunity. You're going to go through some of the hard times, some of the 10 years of preparing yourself, of, of positioning yourself for that one moment of opportunity. And if you're not ready, that opportunity is going to be passed on to somebody else who is ready. When you're the student on campus, man, people count on you. When you're the student on campus, you have a responsibility not only that, but people turn to you. People watch you. Why? Because you're positioned as the student on campus. And today we get to celebrate. This week we get to celebrate. And what's crazy is that there are still as much awareness that we put out there. There are still, there are still students who will say, you know what? I don't care what people have done for me. I don't care that people are sharing information with me. I don't care about my own self. I don't care about my own body. I'm going to continue to do whatever I want to do. This is what we deal with all the time. Every single one of you in this room, you got to know what you stand for. Because if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. I called him that night. I go, hey, dog. He goes, what's up? He goes, how come you left early? I go, how, how come you left early? Dog, I have a learner's permit. I'm 16 years old. I'm not going to drink alcohol somewhere. I don't even know. I don't even know those dudes. I don't care what they say about me. And I had the most awkward conversation I can ever have with my good friend. And some of you, you have good friends, right? You guys do everything together. You go to football games, volleyball games. You come to school together. You wear each other's shirts, right? You're wearing their shirt right now, right? Uh, you're looking around. This is not yours. Look, check the tag. It's not yours. We do everything together. We're cool, bro. But I want you to know, from this day forward, I don't want you to ever, ever put me in that position again. And I said, are we cool about that? And he's like, yeah, br yeah, Biscuit, we're cool, right? You start making these choices when you're young. And let me tell you, the choices you make when you're young, they follow you all the way to adulthood. And a lot of times what we do is we make these choices and we regret them for the rest of our lives. We don't even realize it today, right? Because I remember 15, 16 year old, man, you feel immortal, right? Like I could do whatever. Like I'm young. Nothing can happen to me. Nothing, like, nothing will ever happen to me. If I, if I do this, if I do that, and man, everything's going to be chill. Everything's going to be all right because I'm young. Yeah, if they catch me with something, man, I'm a minor. I'm a minor. I'm not going to go to jail. I'm not going to. That's for people who are like 18, right? And we think just because we're not 18, right? No longer can you say in America, I'm just a minor. Nothing can ever happen to me. So what we'll do is we'll wait for you to turn 18. And then we'll try you as an adult, especially if you go out and drink and you kill somebody. Did you know that when you smoke a cigarette, like the combination of all those chemicals, did you know that it creates carbon monoxide? Like a silent killer. You don't smell it, but little by little, you're poisoning yourself. But you're giving yourself little doses of carbon monoxide every single time. Did you know that people who smoke on a regular basis, they live 10 years less than somebody who doesn't. That's 10 less years for you to make a difference. That's 10 less years for you to be able to spend time at that time with your, like, your grandkids in the future. So right now, you go outside and you leave and you go smoke cigarettes, just remember, this is what you're saying, because any time that you say yes to something, you're also saying no to something else. But <laughs> if the yes is big enough in your life, then the no's will come. No one will, after, no one will ever have to say to you, hey, don't do drugs, dog. You're like, drugs? This is what I'm saying yes to. That's not part of the formula. Why is it that sometimes we choose to do things that put barriers between success? Like beer would have 5% alcohol, but if somebody drinks like liquor, this is where you have like vodka or tequila, right? And then people take shots, little bitty shot glass. Let's just say something like this. Something like this will have 
40% alcohol in it. All right, she's wearing goggles that really looks like if she's drunk, all right? Hmm. Keep going, keep going. You got it, you got it. All right, stop right there. Okay, you failed, all right? <laughs> all right, now face them. Now we're going to do the uh, second part of a sobriety test. This is what happens. They smell alcohol in your breath. You better believe not only are they going to make you, like, uh, breathe into a breathalyzer, but they're going to make you do a sobriety test. All right, now, to put your right foot a little bit higher in front of you, okay? Go. Give me the Mississippis. All right, stop. All right, let's give her a round of applause. You can take these off. So. Put a negative on drinking. Negative. All right. All right, give her a round of applause. Hey, come here. I want to give you something. Come here. You are now one of my official biscuiteers. Life is about choices. Life is about positioning yourself to be not just a choice, but the choice. I want you to know that you can stay away from drugs. There's three different levels of intensity that you have to have. I can stay away from drugs, I will stay away from drugs, and I must stay away from drugs. I can. I will. I, will. I, must. I must. Guys, it's been an honor and a privilege to be able to come share Red Ribbon Week. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for having Biscuit come back. Man, you guys were great. Thank you again for having Biscuit. I appreciate y'all.